Hello everyone, we're about to play Mystery Case Files number 6. This one's called Dire Grove, and it has a little Madame Fate over here. And she's adorable. Little bobblehead. We also have a very old-fashioned horn. And a gear shift. So yeah, so this is Dire Grove. Uh, I'm going to just say it right now. This is where it all started for me. And I played this game when it first came out uh, many years ago. And it was one of the first hidden object games that had a story that I could relate to. And uh, for me, this is kind of the new genre of hidden object puzzle adventures sort of began with this game. At least for me it did anyway. So I have a very, uh, I guess, emotional attachment to this game. It is one of my all-time favorites. And I just haven't had a chance to record it. But now I am. So let's get into it. Let's go ahead and hit the play button. Alright, so we've got zero hours and zero minutes. So what we have here, uh, I guess we've got a lot of reading to do. Let's see. With the events surrounding a Ravenhurst mystery at my back, I once again head east to agency headquarters. I empathize with the victims of that tragic place and find great relief in my own departure. I do wonder if that's the last we'll hear of that story. As usual, my comfort appears to be short-lived. What should have been a leisurely drive is instead to place me within the path of an unusual turbulent ice storm. I emphasize unusual as I cannot recall such a violent blizzard occurring in late fall. A dense flurry maybe, but nothing to the present degree. Driving has become unsafe, wipers fail to shovel the relentless snow from my vision, and I've been forced onto the rural access road just a brief distance from the main motorway. Morning lights flash some distance ahead of me as a snow-covered sign announces my arrival upon the frozen hamlet of Dire Grove. Alright, so there we go, Dire Grove. It is closed for the season. Alright, so uh, what I will say is that because of this, this is an older game and the way that I have to record it is a little bit... <laughs> different, so my mouse is going to disappear a few times. Alright. So we have our car here. Trunk lock prevents further inspection. Old fashioned uh, camera here. Video camera found. It's broken beyond repair, but the crime computer should help view its recordings. And I'm officially creeped out. <laughs> Already into it. You can see here that we have, uh, was it 16 different videos, I think? 16, if my math's correct. So we got a lot of collecting to do. Alright, so we need to figure out what this code is. We'll do that in a minute. Help! If you find this note, please help us. The legend is real. She is real. Whatever you do, don't. Alright, so we don't know what we don't know. Time to operate Those the of horn. You just joining us, we're receiving reports of an extremely powerful winter storm in the North Yorkshire area. Downed trees and power outages caused by heavy precipitation are affecting residents between Weatherby and York. A severe ice and snow advisory is in effect until noon tomorrow. Driving is not recommended, but if you must, be prepared for slippery roads and limited visibilities. Stay tuned for further updates listening to BBC Weather Leeds Radio. For those of you just joining us, we're receiving reports of an extremely powerful winter storm in the... Okay, so we actually got to see that already. ...are affecting residents between... Alright, let's turn the radio off. So we have to figure out, uh, 
So there it is there. J... J... Oh, hang on a second. I thought I was going to zoom in on the trunk. JXH2. Let's try that. J... X... H... H... 2. There we go. Fantastic. So we have keys. And that's about it. I, there is no ability to lock the inventory bar, so we'll have to manage without it. And it, look, the ice looks fantastic. Yeah, I'm, I'm having so many flashbacks. It's amazing. I, I just... I love the art style of this game. And I am a big fan of the winter theme in games as well. Mix in a very good... Uh, the video uh, tapes are really well done. Alright, let's go. So, we have a hidden object scene. Oh, bananas. And that's being punished. <laughs> Alright, so we got a car jack. Right there. Typewriter sounds creepy too. A hot dog, a spoon, and mushrooms. A hanger, a bouquet. Gas mask, camera lens. What else do we have here? A uh, camera lens, a hanger, and a tea bag. Oh, the snow is like <laughs> so awesome. Spoon. Oh, look, a shrimp. And a rubber ducky. Tea bag. Is that. That's. No, that's a sandwich. Now, this is actually quite a messy trunk now that I think about it. Penis in here too. It has a little mouse. Okay, so where's our tea bag? And where are our mushrooms? Look, look, look. There's our tea bag. And our mushrooms. And that is one dirty boot. Great, detective. We got ourselves a jack, so we're gonna go ahead and. Uh, Head over here. Someone's left a running shoe here. We have to chop the firewood, are we? Another cassette here. All right, let's go to our crime computer. And I think we just drop it there. Yeah, there we go. Susan, is that you? Susan, I'm scattering these tapes to increase our chances of being found. The legend is real. This is not a stunt. I'm a graduate student. My name is Allison Sterling, and I come from Strayer University. Susan, is that you? Susan, is that you? Leave me Wow. <laughs> if you are afraid of uh, scary games, I'm not sure what to tell you, but uh, incredible. Very nicely done. Goosebumps all over. Looks like we have our ID Sterling Allison. Thermometer. Mercury confirms my suspicions that it is freezing. So I'm just going to go into the main menu here. Hang on. Where am I? Turn the music down just a touch. In fact, we'll turn everything down just a touch. Close. Play. So we have a rickety old uh, bridge here. Oh, we got something here. 
Covered bridge appears to be my only means of access to the tiny village of Dire Grove. Unfortunately, the oppressive weight of the ice and snow has caused the roof to cave in, and a large support beam has created a sizable gash in the floorboards. Maybe I can toss something to loop over the huge beam to get me across. A wide center beam feels stable. Maybe I could attach something and swing across. Okay, so that's cool. So, oh wow, I think the place is falling apart here. I'll go this way as well. Got ourselves an engine. So we definitely got some more things to do here. Tightly secured garage. Yeah, heavy metal lid sits atop the water main. Oh, a doll face too. Alright, well let's just go in the front door and uh, not waste any more time. Got a hidden object seen there. We've got uh, Celtic history, Diagrove Hotel. Lava land, water, and theme park. Yeah. That clock is uh, going backwards, folks. I don't know if you noticed. Alright, we're back for more hidden object clicky clicky. Uh, <laughs> look at my cursor, is frozen. Okay, so we got a plant. Stones, pillow, and a basket. Back scratcher and binoculars. No, oh, it's a fly swatter. Canned food. Interesting. Stones, a pillow, and a plant. It looks like a puppy dog right there. And we just need a pillow now. There we go. We have ourselves a key. Is that for our... Manager's office? No. Did you see that? Dig uncovers portal key. Okay. A recent news clipping with some scribble notes sits atop the sleeping bag. A laptop running low in battery is displaying strange images. The lobby has been turned into a campsite. Oh wow, that's creepy. Oh, I didn't really. I. There's morphing objects in this game? Wow. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to keep an eye out for that. Alright. We're in this. Totally going to do this. Where are the snow sh shoes? There they are. Snow shoes. Soccer ball. Telephone, pan flute, and a chalice. This clock's going haywire as well. Another pair of binoculars. Headphones. Telephone. That's old school telephone. Got some skizzers. Yes, I know they're called scissors, but I like to call them skizzers. Poker. Scissors, a chalice, and a hammer. And one left. Where are the scissors? 
I was a pair of scissors, where would I be? It's probably like staring right at me. Wow. What? Okay. <laughs> Are we scared yet? I know I am. Now I'm gonna have to be keeping an eye out for morphing objects. Mysteries of the ancient Celts. Celts. Off-season to-do list. Water via main. Hook by the garage. Electricity turned off for season. Use generator around back if you need power. Door opener hidden under ornament in back. We'll lock all doors. Half-eaten bag of potato chips is spilling out on the floor. Out of order. Morphing object. Wow, I'm gonna have to definitely keep my eye out for that. Oh, I saw it. I'll try to get them all. Oh, another tape. I go to the crime computer. We just took off on our way to Dyer Road. Don't tell Susan I borrowed the camera. This is tricky. Which wagon's ours? The guy said number six. There it is. Ooh, what's with all the top of our ass? Our fearless leader asked you to stop with the trip. Hey, don't mess around. This isn't a pleasure cruise. <laughs> all right, folks, that's a good place for us to take a break from Dire Grove. I'm your Gibbs. Let me know what you think of the game. Uh, I am looking forward to sharing all of it. So we'll say goodbye for now. Bye-bye.